It's, uh, for Susie. She's never seen a real Egyptian scorpion. Hmm. Don't forget to tell her. It's a symbol of death here. Yeah. Well, I think it's a bit heavy to spring on a nine-year-old. You going back to the camp. I'll not be with you, Professor. See you later. Scenery for the magazine. Susie? You all right, hon? You wait for me here, okay? Uh huh. the dead.
under the swing. Hey, hey, you got what you wanted. Thanks. You've done a real fine job, Dr. Aziz. Simply a matter of cleaning it now. Though, in my opinion, it was best to leave it alone down there. Well, it might be the answer to a... to an ancient riddle. The inscription on it's my main interest, though. The message chiseled all those many centuries ago. Have you anything exciting to tell me? Just bits and pieces. But there's no doubt in my mind that, that stone holds the key to mysteries that have stymied cryptologists for years. It might be the answer to that tomb of Hadnumenor. No one's entered so far. You want to enter, you'll have no company. The excavation was a mistake, the workers say. They believe that old Hadnumenor's tomb has a terrible curse on it. I'll go with you. We'll return for you at sundown. Right. See you later.
look at this. Incredible. Watch out! All right. I'm through, George. When's the sun coming up? Do you want to know how it happened? I know how it happened. Will I regain my sight? In a year or so. You'll keep the bandages on for six months, and you'll have to avoid bright white lights for quite a while thereafter. Put in three of these drops every evening. Make sure he does. Uh, I bet the children enjoyed the trip to Egypt, didn't they? In fact, it was only Susie. Tommy stayed in New York with her au pair girl. Okay, Tommy. Here comes the pitch. No! I hate to tell you this, kiddo. But there's no way I'll ever be a major league player. Well, I didn't ask you, did I? Lousy lesbian. You shouldn't make your little brother so angry, you know. He's an incorrigible little rat, and he's stupid. I just happen to be an excellent ball player, you know. And being a girl, it makes men furious. Okay, but right now, why don't you go and get him back? 
We're expected at the house. Thank you. Tommy. Tommy, where do you think you're going? None of your business. Jamie Lee says we have to go home now. If you don't come, you'll get on her nerves as well. Do her too. I brought you some nice hot tea. Thank you. Conquest of Egypt, that in fact never been supported by either folk I'll do it. Of any kind. I consider to be a too hasty a hypothesis <laughs> put forth by geologists to explain the presence of genetic words in ancient Egyptian language. Just because Thanks. these words are part of the Egyptian don't sound so bitter. One does not necessarily hmm. deduce That's easy for you to say, because you're not blind. I mean, what the hell do you have to worry about? Look, Plummer is certain you're going to regain your vision. And then in the meantime, I can... Well, I can take shorthand. You can dictate. Yeah. You're right. It was uh, just a moment of weakness. Emily, uh, it won't happen again. I'm sorry. Now I've got to go. You'll be in the office? Yes, I'll be there if you need to call. You okay? You want anything? No, no. Where are the kids? Gone out with Jamie Lee. They'll return soon. Oh. So long. See ya. Okay, Tommy. I take back what I said. You'll be a great major leaguer. Where? On what? On your cross. Pretty. Where'd you buy it, Sue? It's a very Egyptian design. I got it there. Doctor says it'll be approximately ten months. I know you won't mind, Luke. Another time. Yeah. What? Did you say yoga or yoga? No. The ah. big bad word. Mummies in Egypt? Yeah. And were they like scary? Rather. Were they scary as, as zombies? Even more. I've got dinner ready, children. Let's eat, huh? Man, I'm starving. Susie, is anything the matter? I don't know. It's a premonition or something. Tonight's just gonna be lightning and thunder. No, no, your premonition is just a wild fantasy. It's gonna be a lovely evening. Now go and wash your hands.
Susie, what's wrong? I can't sleep. It's only a storm, hon. I'm awful scared. Susie. Susie, there's nothing to be afraid of. Go on back to bed. Please, may I get in your bed? You're being silly now. Go to bed. Good night. The two symbols were not the same, but they were sculpted by the same hand. I saw that the design on the stone and the one on the door of the inner tomb complemented each other perfectly. I'd found the key that would lead to the truth. I was about to solve the riddle at last. It was at that very instant of discovery that my vision failed. I think it's like the temple, or had my accident. Could have been a consecrated temple whose members Worship the forces of evil.
Tommy. Susie. Where? What is it? Susie! Tommy, where are you? Tommy? Susie? What's wrong? Tommy! What happened? The kids. Where are they? They're with Jamie Lee. Oh. Emily. Yes, dear? I see shadows. Outlines. It's not much. But I can see. Oh, George. Are you going to talk to Wyler? Yeah. I'm resuming the search. Sure you should? Emily, I have to find out what it was that I saw in that tomb. We should play, huh? All right, Captain, you choose the game. What about hide and go seek? Hide and go seek, you say? Very well. You stay here and cut up the city where we go and hide. Okay, here I go. One, two, three. It's more or less like that, I'd say. Mm hmm. What color was the stone? It was blue, but a very bright blue. I'm not a hundred percent sure of this, George, but do you know what comes to mind? The sacred symbol of the Grand Shadow, a god named Hapdubana, who was worshipped more than 5,000 years ago. Very little is known about it, except... Except what? Except a certain notoriety for tremendous cruelty and utter evil, yes. At the time that the pharaohs were erecting these monuments, the tomb of Habinobaner was extant already. Uh -huh. Indeed, the sepulchre of evil had by then been in existence for nearly 2,000 years. And now we look at a symbol that I think closely resembles your drawing. That's it. That's what I saw in the tomb. Do you know what's written on it? He who could read its message, George, would solve many, many mysteries. Tommy! Susie! You really disappeared yourself. 
themselves this time. But I'll find you anyhow. Ah. Uh. Hmm. Mind you, it's not fair to fool with the light. I didn't mean to frighten you like that. the lock. Perhaps it's broken. I don't know. No, of course I'll be there. 
right over, okay? You're somewhat annoyed. You're so cute. But yes, you're right, I am. That was our sitter, Jamie. Apparently, the kid's door won't open. Why didn't she think to call security? Guess she was much too upset. She's a nervous young woman. Luke, would you mind putting your toys aside for a little while and come with me to see what happened? Woman, there is naught I wouldn't do for thee. Actually, it's a test of your fealty to me. The au pair is a pretty blonde. You're right. I'm sorry for disturbing you, but I really was afraid. With that door locked, I guess I panicked. I didn't know what to think. What are they doing now? Well, now they're upstairs watching a kitty show. Hi, Mama. Hi, Mama. Mama. <laughs> Did you hear? Did she tell you, Jamie, it won't open the door? I heard. I will open it up with one of my magic tricks. I know I'm a small kid, but a better bet you won't open that door with magic. Right, Mama? Wait, and I will show you something. Abracadabra. Focus. Focus. Einkommen. Focus. Locus mocus. Where is the door? Rocus docus abracadabra. Locus mocus pocus pocus. Abracadabra. Locus cadabra. Open sesame. When do we eat? You want to eat? Me too, Jimmy. Thanks. Joke, stop it. You're acting like an utter idiot.
if you ask me, you'd better get the police here. What for? To say that Luke Anderson, a colleague of yours, came up here to the kids' room? And disappeared into thin air. George, tell me at least what we've got to do, huh? First, we'll call your office and see that he's there. That he's not playing some stupid joke. It's a very elaborate kind of joke. Well, it makes a hell of a lot more sense than him disappearing, turning into a pile of sand. George, am I crazy? Palmer? A little. Was Luke there? No. He didn't show at all at the office. And at his house, no answer. It might be some joke, but I doubt it. He always was an idiot. I know you disapproved of Luke. All right, he's a frivolous guy. But this is serious. Watch how I do the spin, okay? Amazing grace. There. I hope you didn't take my picture when I was falling down. In a moment, I'll show you. Is it ready? I want to see it too, okay? Hold your horses. But a moment to go. are dead, defective stock. Got film, let's try it again. It's finished. We don't have any more. I'm sorry, guys. And anyhow, I think we better get back to the hacienda. first. Call me back in an hour.
According to an Arab traveler of the third century, this ancient jewel symbolizes the eye of evil, the negative counterpoint of Aleph, the principle of all being. Hot Numenor. Mrs. Hacker, this is for you. It concerns your children. Where'd you get it? A woman called out to me on 10th Street. Said it was something that had to do with the kids. There's a name written on it. Adrian McCarto. Huh. Let's see. Mind if I take it to the laboratory? If you find anything interesting, give me a buzz, okay? I'd be sure to, George. Now I'll get going. Try to relax, Emily. Yes, Robert. What was this lady like? It's curious. She appeared normal to me, normal as any other. But I felt very strange, anyhow. There was something about her. Did she give the impression that she knew you? No. But I did get the impression, the impression that somehow she knew the children. And there's something else, George. Olaf Steiner analyzed a sample of that sand on the carpet. This morning I got the report. A lot of silk. This sand comes from Egypt. No! 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 That sounds like Tommy.
Let's go check the kids' room. Toys, Tommy. Hidden somewhere by Susie. Where's Jamie Lee? Answer your father. Where is Jamie Lee? Oh, she hasn't returned yet. Returned from where? Her voyage. She went on a trip? Susie, are you awake? Susie? Yeah? It wasn't my fault. Please go to sleep now. Poor Jamie Lee. It's gonna be all right. Susie, relax. Susie, please, just relax. Susie. Susie. Relax, Susie. You're gonna be all right.
This is the photograph I gave Weiler. But if that's a photo, how could Susie have... That's a good question. Mercato. Would you call your magazine? And see what you're able to find out about him. Yeah, shall do. Papa, Susie always screams when she goes on a voyage. What do you mean? It's a part of the rules. The rules? The game she invented, Susie. Tommy, tell me about this game. Nah. This is very, very important. Do you know how to play this game? Yes or no? Have you ever played it? Uh-huh. Have you made a voyage? Yeah. How far did you go? I really don't know, Dad. It's a place I didn't know at all. Oh, but, um, on one of the voyages, I came back with a real nice souvenir. Want to have a look at it? Show me. This is my souvenir. I found it on the trip that I took last week. What is it? This is... This is Anubis from the Third Dynasty. Ah, his name is Anubis. Where'd you get this? I found it on the riverbank. Tommy, are you lying to me? I knew it. I knew I would end up getting yelled at. I'm gonna go to sleep. What do you think it means? I've been waiting for you. I knew you'd come. Sooner or later. What can I do for you? Are you Mr. Marcato? You didn't come here to discuss names. I just want to know how you're involved with that photograph and what it has to do with our children. What do you know about parapsychology? As much as anybody else. I think that that much means little or nothing. The jewel that appears in this photo was discovered many thousands of years ago and symbolizes evil. Excuse me, but I don't see what my daughter has to do with this jewel. Oh, come on, come on. Are you trying to tell us that Susie was grabbed by some unearthly spirit? She's got the evil eye on her and all that stuff? It's quite possible that your daughter has absorbed the energy radiated by the gem. Silly superstition. Earthly objects also have their spirituality. Objects that gather, concentrate, and assimilate the constant variables in humans. You've seen, I'm sure, the gems that change color according to the humors, the personality, the spirituality of the wearer. Yes, of course. I own one. Your daughter is in great danger. And you're out of step with reality, Mr. Mercato. You come on like some kind of oracle. But, but you're trying to scare us, and I don't know why. 
If you think I am just a quack, you can leave now. But don't come back later. Because I shan't help you. Whatever, whatever you do, make sure that your daughter doesn't have the jewel. Do you think we ought to try calling Mr. Mercado? It's hard to take him seriously. Better at this point to get back to science. Weiler's our best bet right now. He's an Egyptologist as well. He'll come up with something. What did they want? It seems Wyler was killed by a poisonous snake. George, Wyler had the photo. That's exactly what I was thinking. We better call Makato. I got. Papa! To... Papa! Help! Leave me alone with her.
is this happening to us? I don't understand it. We're powerless and it's frightening. And then the death of Weiler. And where did Luke go and Jamie Lee? And this illness of Susie's. I tell you, it's unnatural. Emily, listen. No. Please, I've listened all I intend to. I've heard too much about parapsychology and about tombs in the desert. And the university calling it's like an omen. You must understand. And I'm frightened to death of the man upstairs, George. I don't want his voodoo. The man's perverse. But you wanted to call him, too. Well, it was a mistake. Phone a medical doctor. That's what we should do. Phone the police. Phone at least someone we know and whom we can trust. Mama! 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 Help me! Prisoner. A prisoner of what? Of this stone. This gem is endowed with evil powers, a force that has seized your daughter's mind and that is now using her as a medium for its, its own dark and wicked malefactions. What do you mean? The power within this gem can open the infernal gate of time and space and work miracles of evil beyond all arcane dimensions. That's impossible. Isn't it really? Look at it, George. It's a, it's a desert stone. Now, give me your hand. We shall journey together to the land of that stone's origin.
I'd feel a lot better if you were at the house seeing to Tommy. I spoke to Aunt Dorothy. He'll be expected around now. I'll take him. It's inexplicable. I'm running an x-ray scan, Phil. Punish me. Dr. Foster, the girl's x-rays.
Mama. Oh, Susie. Susie. Sweetheart. Darling. Makato. Makato, where are you? Mr. Hacker. I think... I think your daughter is out of harm's way for now. What? You mean... You mean she's... There has been a transference. I have substituted for your daughter. What? <laughs> it's useless that I uh, explain. You would never understand. What do I have to do? You have nothing to worry about. Your daughter is redeemed. If you wish to do something for me, throw this into the deepest and darkest part of the river. Mama? I'm scared. I know, darling. Only now you're all right. Mama? Please, you have to, to rest for a while. You're going to be yourself again. Oh, so you're going to be yourself again. Take my life with stuff bird. But you shall not have my immortal soul at Luminar. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>